I've always spoken too much. Today, for the first time, listened. I listened to him. Belatedly I loved thee, O oh, beauty so ancient and so new, belatedly I loved thee. Thou didst cry aloud and force open my deafness. Thou didst shine and chase away my blindness. Thou didst breathe fragrant odors, and I drew in my breath, and now I pant for thee. Amen. I tasted, and now I hunger and thirst. Thou didst touch me, and I burned for thy peace. You have humiliated yourself. You have humiliated the Emperor, my son. You have humiliated the whole Empire. You are dismissed as court orator to the Emperor. You are no longer the Emperor's voice. Nobody will ever listen to your voice. Valerius. betrayed our trust. You made us look foolish in front of the whole empire. We will not tolerate being made to look ridiculous. You're no longer welcome here. Go back to where you came from. They didn't succeed in requisitioning the Basilica. Your conversion has given courage to the people who now fill it. The Empress couldn't kill us all. And now, what are you going to do? I'm going to Ostia with my mother and my son. From there, we'll embark on a ship for Africa to go home. And once you've arrived? I want to study and pray, live in seclusion. It won't be easy for you to live in seclusion. I speak from experience. I don't feel worthy of priesthood. He'll ask more of you than that. Here. It's ink. 
Remember to use it all. I've spoken with the captain. We set sail in three days. I always wish to be buried in my homeland, in Africa. It's not the time to be thinking about that, Mother. But you know, it doesn't matter anymore. You can bury me anywhere, even here. There was only one thing. I've ever desired. I ever lived for. To see you baptized before I died. Give me your hand. Listen to the silence. Our life is just a shell. Fragile, temporary. But there is something that lives within us that is not fragile. It's not temporary. We are already living an eternal life, my son. The seal will tell you where to go. Uh, yes. These are the last trunks of books. Only the manuscripts of the City of God are missing, mm. then everything will have been loaded on the Pope's ships. Mm. I've almost finished it, Pasidius. Just let me work on it a bit more. A bit more. Through the side door. Lucille. Another trunk, Lucille. What do you want? To conscript me as well? No, no. Only to look at you. There, now you have. How many more to come? Tonight we attack. Just what Rome needs. More dead heroes to worship. Yes, I will fight for Rome. But I will live for you. Because you give me the desire to live. There are some more in the library. Fetch them. My uncle, excuse me. We're about Bishop Augustine is your uncle. Yes. Yes. My father's brother. Uh. Fabius! Fabius, I understand your resentment towards me, but listen, don't sacrifice your life, nor that of your men, to defend an empire in decline. I'm Roman, an officer of the empire, and this is what I will be until the very end. Man is what he loves. If you love the earth, you will be of the earth. If you love God, 
you will be of God. As the scriptures say, we are all gods and children of God. <laughs> I'm not a child of any God. I'm the son of a man who died when I was just a child. Do you know, Lucille, who killed my father? It was your uncle. The great Bishop Augustine. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. I remember every detail. Ambrose was right. I became a priest, but God wanted more from me. By then, I'd been a bishop for a few years. Now that the Confessions is finished, what will you dictate in this room? I have a few ideas in mind, but only one in particular is urgent. A book to defend the church from the accusation that it's leading the empire to ruin. In fact, since Rome was sacked by Alaric, the church has been blamed for everything. Instead, the church will be the one to hold on to the traditions of Rome. In these uncertain times that are in store for us. Have you chosen the title? The City of God. Bishop. Something terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, God. It's Father Babylus. His hands have been cut off. Why? And his tongue has been cut out. The Donatists have done this. The fanatic Donatists. There is a difference. I know the difference. But when word of the murder gets out, people won't make such a subtle distinction. We could risk the breakout of civil war between the Catholics and the Donatists. No. What are you going to do? A council? Yes. You are the Bishop of the Donatists and I of the Catholics. Let's bring our priests together for a public debate in Carthage until we establish who's right and where the truth stands. The truth? The truth. And when we have established the truth? If the truth lies with the Donatists, then we will become Donatist. If it lies with the Catholics, then you will become Catholic. <laughs> we all want peace, but there's no real peace without the truth. Let's find it together. That would be an unfair dispute. No one can beat an orator like you. I won't be participating in the debate. You won't be participating? I'm only concerned about one thing, Sidonius. The truth. If by any chance the Catholics should, should win the debate, I wouldn't want anyone to suspect that it was all due to the skill of rhetoric instead of the truth of the arguments. One condition. The judge has to be neutral and above suspicion. We will select him together. <clears throat> Glorious Domitius, we come to Carthage because you are the most esteemed judge in the province. I usually judge criminal matters, not religious ones. I'm not even Christian. It's not different. You just need to judge the truth. You must have a lot of faith in yourselves to put everything at stake in a public debate. Not in ourselves. In the truth. Many people have already died in this conflict. Mm. That's why we need you. Fabius. Mm. Mm. My son, Fabius. He has the same eyes my son used to have. Well, he's upset. Because I promised to spend the day with him. My fault, Fabius. My fault. I took your father away from you today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really sure you don't want to speak today? You'll do fine. 
I'd prefer to listen to you. You know, Persidious, it was in this tribunal where everything began for me. Let's hope that this is not where everything ends for you. to express a judgment on your debate. I will listen carefully to both sides. I will judge with impartiality and trust that the truth we discover today will help you to unite. I officially open this debate and invite Donatus Bishop Sidonius to speak first. Illustrious judge, today I speak before you gentlemen, ladies, and our God. I could talk about religion, sin, betraying the scriptures, or the fractured history with our Catholic brothers, but today I want to speak of only one man, a priest who's been the greatest sinner of us all. 